Okay, so uh, you're done with your chapter 1. So makakapag-proceed lang kayo for the chapter 2 which is the review of related literature and studies kung na-approve na ang chapter 1 ninyo. So, still checking pa din si teacher para sa mga pinasa ninyo na chapter 1. But for now, writing a literature review. So, paano ba? So, yan Previously. Okay. So, one of these ideas is Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection. It was hard for people to accept a primate evolution, but they did not get what the crux of the theory is that we evolved through survival of the fittest. So, in in related literature, if you have your own, of course, if you have a title or a topic, at uh, uh, hahanapan nyo siya ng review or yung related literature na ibang author or iba yung nag-create, gumawa nung thesis na yun, uh, pwede nyo siyang i-share sa inyong thesis mismo. Pero, may sinusunod tayo. May sinusunod tayong year na dapat ay may limit lamang yung ating uh, literature na makukuha through internet man yan, sa books man yan, or sa mismong uh, thesis mismo na pagkukuha na ninyo. So, nag -e evolve siya. So, for example, if your title would be the... Uh, the, the virus or the different kinds or you are focusing in, in a virus. So, hahanapan nyo siya ng review of related literature before. So, sa ganitong taon, nagkaroon siya, inaral siya, nagsaliksik yung ating mga researchers para makakuha ng sapat na information pa din and ideas para dun sa, uh, sa topic na yon. And then, kung relate naman yung inyong topic, doon sa ginawa before, so, pwede nyo siyang ishare at ibahagi. So, so, Darwin's accomplishments were so many and so diverse that it is use, useful to distinguish three fields to which he made major contributions. So, evolutionary biology, the philosophy of science, and the modern uh, gist or spirit of the times. So, research is building on the idea of scholars that precedes us. It is a continuous build-up of knowledge that is shaped by our present needs. It is simply basic problem-solving. We use what we already know to solve a new problem. So, in reviewing related studies, we ask, what do we already know? Okay, so first, evaluating information sources on the web. So, so, the internet is aggressively proliferated with information sources. It is important to ascertain the veracity of the information you are getting. So, nagbabago, may, may improvement, may progress na nangyayari sa internet na pinagkukuhanan natin. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-stick lang sa ganitong uh, information. Dapat ay uh, nagpo-progress, may grow yung ating ginagawa. Ganon din naman yung, yung internet na pinagkukuhanan natin. So, kung sa science, ito yung sagot niya, maaaring sa mga susunod na panahon ay mabago kasi uh, mas nagiging... Uh, uh, mas marami na tayo natutuklasan through uh, different uh, technology na ginagamit natin. So, there are six main criteria in evaluating information sources on the web. So, first, we have the authority. So, does the author have the knowledge or experience to write about the information serve? What extent is the author's recognition or experience is in the field he or she writing in? Can the author be rich for uh, verification? So, uh, titingnan natin kung may kapasidad ba yung author na kukunin natin para uh, magbigay ng uh, information dun sa ating uh, study. Which is, um, kung ang study ninyo is about the... the the health, so 
Ang kukunin ninyo, of course, is yung may authority. So, pa pwede nagtatrabaho sa, sa hospital or sa DOH man yan or sa WHO. So, pa pwede yun. So, at least, uh, meron silang knowledge or meron silang experience na pwede nilang ishare dun sa ating study. Okay? So, first is the authority. Number two, is the accuracy or the quality. So, can the information be verified in any other source? Is the information free from mechanical errors, the grammar, formatting, typological errors? And was the information derived from sound methodology or fact-finding process? So, if your literature is... Uh, has uh, authority or sila yung mas karapatan na magbigay ng information. So, dapat uh, titignan din natin kung accurate ba ito. So, uh, dapat uh, may quality pa din. Dapat uh, verified pa din siya as source pa din dun sa ating magiging study. So, first is the authority. Second is the accuracy or the quality. And we have the third, the objectivity. So, does the information provide any bias to whom or what? Does the media of information have any advertisement relevant to the information? Or does the author's affiliation or agenda present or conflict of interest? So, ito yung, mga dapat, ito yung uh, aspects na titignan natin. So, currency. Does the information have any indication of when it was derived or published? Does the information have any revisions or alteration? So, uh, kailangan currency. So, napapanahon dapat at new, bago, uh, bagong uh, bigay, kumbaga fresh pa siya. So, dapat may currency, yung information para mas maging uh, magkaroon siya ng basis or proven siya or proof na na okay itong literature na to for our study. So, coverage. Does the information sufficiently cover all necessary aspects of the information you seek? For general information, so as the w, the five W's in one H. So, alam yun na yun? The, the who, uh, what, when, where, and why, and then how. So, yun yun. And then we have the appearance. So, does the site look organized? Do the link works? Does the site appear to be well maintained? So, ito yung uh, sa mga internet natin. So, dapat may exist, may existence siya. nag appear siya yung mga links and yung mga websites na uh, gagamitin natin or pagkukuha na natin. Kailangan nag-work siya or nag-function. So, we have the kinds of scholarly sources. We have, so in English, in English, the idiom judged by a jury of your peers means being judged by the persons with the same level of expertise or recognition as you have. All findings in the research literature, literature are also judged not by a jury but in the peer review process. So, we have the research literature. So, when we say research literature, ito yung gagawin ninyo, we pertain to the various studies conducted and reported to the public, disseminated through publication, and all research researches published undergo peer review. So, uh, reported to the public, ibig sabihin nakalathala siya, naka, nakalabas siya, kasi pa pwedeng gamitin ng ibang tao. Okay, so peer review, ito yung kanina pa nating nadidinig. So according to Goddard 20, uh, 2011, a peer is a person with the same or superior expertise in a scientific subject as the author of another research article. So a peer reviewed paper is one that has undergone the scrutiny of one or more scientific Expert. So, ito yung tinatawag na a peer review paper. Uh, <clears throat> uh, may mga, uh, kumbaga, experts na nag-check, na tumingin dun sa ating 
uh, paper. Iyon yung tinatawag na peer review. Ibang tao yung nag uh, tumitingin or nag evaluate dun sa paper na yon. So, we have the primary source materials. Original research papers written by the scientists who actually conducted the study. A review of literature is basically anchored on the insights from primary source materials. At least uh, around 95% of your references must be primary sources. And then secondary source materials. Papers that synthesize or summarize papers within the literature in one work. Examples include books of abstracts, book chapters. So, secondary source materials should help you locate primary source materials. They may also be written by the researchers themselves, but its form is already condensed. So, ito yung mga uh, support uh, details ninyo, tawag sa kanila is yung secondary source materials. Unlike ng primary source materials, ito mismo yung, uh, yung original na taong nagsulat at ating uh, uh, gagamitin bilang relate sa ating study. Iyon yung primary. Ibig sabihin, direct sa kanila, sa kanila kung, kung sino man yung pinagkuhanan natin. Unlike ng secondary, ayan, mga support lamang sila. So, we have the tertiary source materials. So, relatively new, considers critical analysis and or review of existing researches. Examples include meta-analysis, best practices, guidelines, and etc. Meta-analysis or systematic literature reviews gather data from a number of different independent studies that have examined the same research question. So, this is according to Fick and Swales, 2009. So, ito na yung uh, pinagsalin-salin, kumbaga may analysis from from others, so mga best practices, yung mga guidelines na yan, so ang tawag naman sa kanila is the tertiary source materials. So, ayan. So, we have an example of tertiary source materials. We have a, a meta-analysis of blended learning and technology used in higher education from the general to Applied. So, this is from Robert, ayan, Richard, and then Philip. So, this is this was published online noong February 9, 2014. Okay, so some key terminologies in literature review. Ayan, uh, magagawa niyo din ito. First is the citation. Citation is used in the body of a document to give credit to the publication of others or the author's previous work. Ang tawag sa kanila is yung citation. Nagsasite ka ng um, uh, document ng iba or ng publication pero may credit naman siya pagdating sa bibliography. So, ginagawa mo siya. Next is the reference. is the complete information of a citation. Of course, ano yung title na yun? Uh, Sino yung author? Publication? Kailan siya? So, located at the end of the paper in a list of references. And then, the last is the bibliography. So, consists of not only the references but also books or papers that supply additional information about the subject being discussed. So, uh, pag sinabing bibliography, hindi lamang uh, books, pwedeng uh, resources uh, through internet, uh, mga articles, yan. Diyan na papaloob lahat yan, bibliography. Kaya while you are searching or nagahanap kayo ng related literature sa inyong study, don't forget to include the link kung sa internet man ito. But for now, talagang more on internet kayo kasi... Uh, hindi naman kayo makakalabas at makakapunta sa mga uh, library. So, uh, mostly sa internet nyo lang siya makukuha. Pero, wag na wag yung kakalimutan. Uh, isulat ang reference ng pagkukuha na ninyo. So, yung link, kailangan yung link for your bibliography. So, third is the reading literature. So, pagbabasa. Hindi lang natin basta ko kopyahin yung isang literature, dapat ay 
babasahin muna natin siya kung sadyang relate ba talaga siya. Hindi porket nakita natin yung word na yun at uh, meron tayong word na yun, ay pa pwede na. No. So, reading alone can be tiresome, but reading a whole lot of research literature can really be mind-boggling. But there is a method to be madness. So, things to consider. In making a review literature for a thesis paper, you need to consider two things. So, first, attempt a comprehensive and up-to-date review of research findings. So, kailangan may date at napapanahon siya. And find a potential area for study in relation with the research literature. So, dapat may relation yung inyong kukunin uh, sa inyong study. So, ito yung mga dapat ninyong tandaan. tandaan. So, review matrix. With a review matrix, you create a structured abstract of all the source documents from your lit uh, literature review. A, a review matrix is like a spreadsheet or a table, a rectangular arrangement of columns and rows. Ayan, for example, we have here the, the author, for example, trust Tori and Whelan and Jerome or Jerome. So, anong year? 2020. So, anong title yung uh, pinagkuhanan natin? Should teachers be trained in emergency remote teaching? Lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic? And then, the finding. So, ganyan. Dapat, meron kayong uh, details niyan dun sa mga pagkukuhanan ninyo. Hindi lang basta name of the author or the year. Of course, yung title mismo. Okay? So, ayan pa. Alvarez, Junior Abel, 2020. So, ayan. Pwede kayong mag-create muna ng matrix, yung ganito na may column at may rows uh, para mas madali nyo siyang uh, uh, gamitin kung maga nagsasummarize kayo. And then, uh, kung meron na kayo nito, uh, pwede nyo na siyang ilagay sa inyong chapter 2. Ayan, combining, combining the findings. So, once you build an ample size of references in the research matrix, you can now analyze the findings and organize the information accordingly. Yes. Then, conflicts and gaps. What you need to look out for in the research literature are conflicts. So, blind spots or gaps. Conflicts are usually two conflicting results or sets of results that have to be addressed. And then gaps are potential areas that need to be explored for the research area to progress. So, ayan. Another. Ayan. Ayan. This finding supports the notion that teachers are not prepared for emergency remote teaching. So, this is according to so, who are the authors? So, ayan, may arrow, nakikita nyo dyan. And then, this finding supports, ayan, okay, same with. And then, we have, this finding may support the notion that teachers are lacking material or emotional support. So, uh, relate sila sa isa't isa na po pwede nilang uh, gamitin na ito for their uh, re review of related literature. And then, complex and gaps, okay. So, writing tips. So, paraphrase, do not copy. Yan ang wag na wag nyong gagawin ang kopyahin ang gawa ng iba. Kasi, most researchers make uh, make the mistakes of copy-pasting the abstracts of their studies thinking that it is okay since review or related literature is not often thoroughly read. It is still blatant act of plagiarism. So, uh, bawal ito ang pangungopia or just copy and paste the work of other and make it yours. So, bawal yon. So, paraphrasing is easy. So, ito yung pwede ninyong gawin. So, just write the thought of the study in your own words. So, pag minasa nyo yung isang literature, uh, i-paraphrase nyo siya. Kumbaga, para kayong uh, nag-change ng words 
nang sa inyo yun, in your own version. So, ang tawag dun is paraphrasing. So, hindi lahat ay kukopyahin mo. Pwede mong ibahin yung words, pero the thought is the same. And then, make sure to cite the paper when you quote a portion of it in your related literature. So, another option of arranging your related literature is through historical arrangement or according to your research topics, historical development. Ayan, where to find sources? And ba natin mahanap yung ating mga pwedeng gamitin? So, where to find? You can look for online articles through journal databases, EBSCO host. Ayan, Google may provide you with some sources but it is important to review the articles you get. So, kapag may nakita kayo sa Google, all you have to do is to read first or read everything bago nyo siya kunin. Kasi, huwag nyo iisipin na hindi binabasa ang review of the related literature. Kasi may basis yan. Kaya siya kasama pa din sa inyong thesis. Meron siyang basihan na po pwedeng makatulong sa, sa study ninyo. Of course, it helps naman talaga. So, Google provides a free journal database service or yung Google Scholar. Ayan. So, pwedeng PDF yung inyo makuha. Ayan, kung nakikita nyo yung uh, may circle dyan. So, PDF. So, pagka PDF, madadownload nyo siya ng isang buo. Okay, yan. And then, Ayan, if the search results has this, it means you can retrieve the full paper. So, i-click nyo lang yan at makukuha nyo yung buong paper. So, pwede nyo na siyang uh, tingnan-tingnan at basahin. So, ayan, kung nakita nyo naman yung circle dito, makikita nyo yung custom range. Ayan, custom range. Ano po yun? So, if you want to limit your research to articles to a point in time, so, say, meron kayong 5 years, so, kailangan yung inyong review of related literature ay 5 years lang, ha? So, pwede nyo i-click yung custom range, and then, enter the earliest year the study is supposed to have been published. Ayan. So, this is... Uh, this is the search result when you just type blended learning flipped classroom without entering a custom range notice the dates of the publication ayan, so makikita nyo yung may mga circle circle dyan we have 2017, 2014 2016, 2014 basta pwede nyong isulat kung anong year yung uh, limit ninyo lalabas na yan Ayan, tulad nito sa gilid. Okay. So, after entering a custom range, which, uh, which is today is 2020, and then kung 5 years, so meron tayong 2015 to 2020 na uh, pwedeng mahanap na review of related literature. So, you can see that all results return with the dates after 2015. So, kung makikita nyo, we have 2018, 2015, 2017, 2017. So, lahat ng yan ay nakapaloob, of course, within uh, 5 years, which is ngayon ay 2020. So, hinahanap natin is until 2015. So, pabalik. So, meron tayong 5 years. Kaya, kung isusulat nyo sa custom range, yung year na kakailanganin ninyo, of course, ang lalabas dyan is yung mga date or yung year na nakapaloob dun sa 5 years natin. Okay. Ayan. So, last na siya. I hope na intindihan nyo kung paano maghanap sa internet. Lalo ngayon, internet lang ang ating basihan. Pero kung uh, ang kailangan is uh, magaling kayo sa paghanap. Kumbaga, hahalubo. Uh, kumbaga, uh, iisisihin ninyo ang nasa Google. Titingnan ninyo, babasahin ninyo. So, since uh, ang topic ninyo is more on online classes, ang hihilingin ko lang is at least uh, three review of related literatures. So, okay na yon kasi sa ngayon pa lang naman siya at 
Hindi pa namang ganung karami ang lumalabas na literature about online classes because of the pandemic COVID-19. So, three, three lang, tatlo lang yung aking uh, hihilingin for your chapter 2. Okay? So, napaka gaan at kayang-kaya nyo yan. Of course, five years tayo. Five years. So, start ng 2015 to 2020, kailangan ang review of related literature nyo, ha? Then, uh, tatlo lang. And then, I give you the deadline. So, ipopost ko na lang sa GC ninyo. And then, the format. Okay? So, thank you and God bless you. Grade 12.